I'd, I would prefer a train here anyway. This is one of the only places here that feels like where I'm from. Mm -hmm. Not the architecture, the temperature. Oh. It's way too hot here. Oh. <laughs> well, that's why I had to make, th make this. Can't walk around in plates so much when it always feels like summer. Really? Even with the snow? Hmm. Oh, the tree is beautiful at night, isn't it? Where are you? Hmm? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> yes. We think something is happening with our mana that causes the illusion magic to make us invisible sometimes without our... Like, show it. Get on the and show it again. Hmm. Okay. It's been uh, happening a lot lately. Right. Yes. No, no, no. This isn't anything like summer. It's not here or now. It rarely, ra rarely snows in the summer. <laughs> okay. <sighs> No, sometimes we need to just come out here and stargaze. Look at all those stars. Mm. Mm. <sighs> well, Ebb, mm -hmm. as I promised, we can get started. What was your name again? Ari. Ari. Your weapon I'm much more familiar with, but I did promise to teach Ebb in the her own weapon for now. All right. I suspect a rapier should be merely similar to an arming sword. Hmm. Take it out and let me see it. I need to hey. don my kit. Hmm. All right. With the weight of the blade, you could stand to have one longer. Hmm. Well, the problem is, it's a bit too big for Florissa as it is. Right. <sighs> Suppose those things don't change with you. Oh, All right. No. Before I can teach you the basics, I need to find out what you already know. So, right. I want you to start by just showing me some stances. All the stances that you know. No strikes. Nothing else. Just what you know from what you've been taught already. All right. Well, first, obviously. Then. Second. Third. Fourth. Actually, that might be fifth going down. Um, we haven't done this in so long. We haven't really needed it. Um. Those are all we remember at the moment. I'm sure some of them are wrong. Uh, so, those stances, or at least most of them, look like they are for sport. That's not going to get you very far. Hmm. For example, holding down like this, sure, you can protect your legs, but you're opening yourself too much to an actual attack. You don't have to worry about being attacked at the feet. Hmm. If, well, perhaps not in your kit, but once we get you properly outfitted. Yeah. Strikes low down are only used in... Uh, almost always only used in affairs where points are to be gained. Striking from low in an actual fight is just going to get you killed. But, hmm. from what I've seen from your weapon... Hmm. So, it is obviously meant for stabbing, but it's not a pike either. The advantage of a blade, and the reason that it's used, even though maces and axes are far more effective against certain armors, is that it is the only weapon of its class with a 
larger striking area. So, at least against unarmored opponents, you will be learning some slashes as well. All right. Now, I'm going to give you the stances that I know. These wouldn't be the ones that I would use with a two-handed weapon. Hmm. Hema. So, first, your offhand, if you aren't holding a shield or a parrying dagger, should be reserved, protected, leave it out, and you're just giving your opponent another and much easier target. Now, hmm. those to your body. Now, I'll give you the names the most common stances, and I'll tell you the ones that are best with your weapon. Roof guard. This is held behind your head. Mm. You should have your opposite foot forward. Oh. So see, I have my left foot forward. Oh, all right. Behind my right ear. There. Now, purpose of this, the purpose of these stances is that you have enough room to actually swing. Oh. If I were to tap you like this, I could make a hit quicker, but I wouldn't get through any armor that way. So, mm. roof guard, high guard, ox guard. Uh. Although, in the case of your weapon, best to have it a bit lower. Mm. All right. Uh. Tail guard. That's the. That's fool's guard. Yes. Fool's guard. Opposite. Oh, wait. Did feel. Fool's guard okay. feels a bit awkward. Points of it. Nope. That's still tail guard. Oh, it's gonna. It crosses your front leg. Oh, like that. Other hand. So like that. Fool's guard isn't the best for striking, but edge of the blade, the blade is deadliest in the direction that it points. Hmm. Fool's guard is very good for getting your opponent to open himself. All right. And here, my favorite, just a neutral stance. Yes. Would probably be best for yours as well. All right. We can start with the basics now. I'm sure you know how to slash and push your weapon forward. As we go along, I'm going to teach you more things. So, for the purposes of this, I'm only going to block. I want you to score as many hits in me as you can. Keep moving. First basic. All right. Put work. Hmm. would be best for me to have a rapier as well, but the odds of you fighting someone with the exact same kid as you... <sighs> Keep moving. All right. <sighs> if you move, the places I have to defend are infinitely larger. Some points. If you're going for a slash, if you're going for a slash, you don't. You have to lead with the blade. If I slash like this, I'm opening myself up to you. Mm. Right? Blade has to be before your hand in regards to your opponent. Do you understand what the difference is? Yes? I believe so. Now. Now. Although slashing is still possible with weapon to have. Lude. <laughs> oh, this is gonna get this is gonna be a uh clip later.
I'm sorry if you're saying something, I can't hear you. Oops. Oh, not yet. Um. Oh, is it just me, Miss Ari? I can't hear him. Oh, I can at least hear you at the moment. Kimmy, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Toasty. Up, oh, dealing with some audio issues. Yay! Yeah, Kimmy is the awesome, awesome harpy. Yep, we're learning some sword training. As Trevor tries to get his audio to work. <laughs> To be fair, I suppose we're glad we're not the only ones with flux problems tonight. <laughs> yes. <sighs> ah. Right, cart down for a second. Do. Ah, you have been working on things. <laughs> Just you want to wave to my chat? <laughs> That's Ari. Ari is a, Ari is a cute bean. Ari bean. <laughs> Okay, have fun vibing, Kimmy. Thanks for the raid. I'll try restarting. We have to do this later. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll see if uh, Chavra can get stuff fixed. But that's fine. This means we don't. We get to have a hot springs episode. Woo! <laughs> Boom splish! <laughs> yeah, cannonball! <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> um, Swords in the character earlier, uh, and I switched to my lightning avatar, and I just. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> Not the toaster in the bathtub. No, don't go full Sith, Ari. <laughs> no, we're doomed. She's summoning her truth Sith powers. Join me in the dark side. Oh no. We'll never join you. Or else. The Sith will die. <laughs> I'm way too close to my computer for this. <laughs> oh shit, where the hell is my computer? There it is. Right. It's I'm the secret finale. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I wonder if I can actually let me how far back do I have? I can push my chair back further. That's as far as I can get it. Can I even do the thing? Ah oh, good No, not the red lightning. Let me see if I can actually do this. Go go Just float. I'll just Can I can I actually float? I'll just float. 
Wait. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Trevor's gonna come back like, what the fuck? <laughs> glurp, glurp. Oh, I'm going full. I'm going full Aerith right now. Just from Final Fantasy Seven. Do do. Oh god. Sink into the. Sink into the ether. Ah! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I still have the rapier toggle. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Dun it, 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 dun it. Apparently that happened the other day. Menace. Menace is a giant shark in the entryway to the. Oh my god, I'm sad I missed that. Yeah. I want to get them a swimsuit, but obviously they can't wear it at the same time. Uh, ow! <laughs> too close, too close. Ugh. I shouldn't know where the fuck my play space is. I have fucking lines on the ground. <laughs> Why do I not see them when I need to? I don't have those. I have mine turned off. Oh god. I need- I apparently need them because I- they don't even work. Like, I can't even- I need them and I don't look at them when I need them. Okay. Oh. Actually, let me see if he's back. Okay, not yet. Nothing yet. I assume he needs to- he needs to- I'll see when he, uh, requests if he does. Is he even on yet? Oh god. <laughs> I need a picture of that just like floating on the b on the bottom of the Oh god. Where okay, he's back on. I don't know if he's still Oh, I wonder if he's did he I thought he left. Oh, there he is. Okay. There we go. Uh, how the heck do I jump out of the... Uh, uh, there we go. Ugh. Way too high. Way too high. <laughs> Move this back. Uh, so that I know... If I hit the front of it, I'm way no, too... I love these mirrors. <laughs> Wait, there's mirrors? Yeah, oh! Do they actually work? Realistic mirrors? No. <laughs> okay. I was wondering. I wish they did. There's no mirrors on this map. Yes, let's see, let's yeah, see each other as we bathe. Let's just look, look at ourselves in the face as we bathe. Let's just put our cameras on. Yeah. There you go, there you go. He's gonna be like, where the fuck are you? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Oh. He joined. Let's see if he's here yet. Yeah, he is. There he is. Ari murdered me in the hot springs. Yeah. <laughs> well, this gave me enough time to uh, collect my thoughts anyway. Uh, yes, you can hear me well now. Yes. Yeah. Let me... oh. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, before, we, before we go back to this, I should... Well, before we get completely off the topic of stances, or at least the basics, I should tell you a few things about what makes a bad stance. All, All right. right. First, don't ex... Well, it's hard to see in the snow. Let's see if I can mm. lift myself up just a bit. Mm. Don't extend your foot past your knee. This gets rid of your ability to retreat, especially in large battles where you might be pushed forward or back on a line. This... It's just opening yourself up to an easy attack. Mm. So, knee at the very least parallel with your foot. All now, right. 
A few stances? There are unconventional stances, but a few are nothing. This is nothing. I have no striking power from here. I have to move the sword all the way over my head to make a strike. Hmm. This is also nothing. Once again, I don't have any striking power. There's no attacks that you can make from this stance. All right. Now, let's go back. Uh, actually, let's advance just a little bit to another part of the basics. We'll try some blocks now. All mm -hmm. right. So, there are f there's a whole spectrum of directions I could attack at, but... To make it easier, just break it down in your head as five different directions. Hmm. Over the head, roof guard, both over the shoulder, and at the torso, actually six. Hmm. And a step. I may come at your knees, but you can guard with those the same way that you would guard your torso. I'm hmm. going to make a few attacks at you. They'll be fairly projected, okay. and they'll just... Always moving. Right, right. That wasn't high enough. Okay. If this sword wasn't made of wood, you'd be in bad shape. Right. No. You can't attack- you can't defend against a low block like that. I'd get your forearm. We'll keep this up until you have a few successful ones. Right. Good. All right. Now, something a little more advanced. I you to start attacking me. Any direction you want. All right. I... What? Try again and watch what I'm doing. All right. Okay. There. Oh, no. You're going to have to be able to take that. Now, the specific technique is not so important. As a matter of fact, what I just did is only best for a long sword. What I'm doing, after I parry you, I redirect the momentum of the attack and make a counter. Mm. Parrying on itself is completely useless, and you can't cower behind your defenses. You'll be worn down and killed. Anyone who knows what they're doing with a blade will always take advantage of a successful defense to account. Hmm. Huh? Sorry, I just heard something weird. Hmm. All right. Now, I'll show you a few more, attack from different angles, and then we'll try to get you to do some of your own. All right. And remember, right now you're in a terrible position. My blade is longer than yours. I can attack you and you can't attack me. Mm. I'm at your mercy right now. You need to work your way around me and get closer. All right. Uh. <sighs> All right. Still want to do this? Of course. taken enough I'll teach you some of the simpler ones I'll show you different ways to redirect the attack first and then I'll give you slow projected attacks all right now with, with your guard forward in this position if you have an attack coming from this direction first parry and then 
when my guard okay. is off, mm, you traveled a bit too much. You've opened me for a counter to your counter. Mm. It's a very s s simple and swift notion. Push it to the side, either attack for the head or attack to the body with this step. Okay. <clears throat> now, a bit faster. Um. Far too slow. Right. Now, I'm in room of God. There's only a few angles that I can attack immediately from this position. I'll have a lot of power, but I am projecting myself. Ready hmm. yourself? Right. <laughs> Good, but we'll have to work on the speed. Right. Now, the pommel of your blade is quite nasty. With a stabbing weapon, which both of us seem to favor, having an opponent close up to you is bad news. Mm. See, at this distance, you and I can barely get the tip of our blades to each other. Not enough time in a fight. The cross guard is made of metal. It's a mace. As a matter of fact, against heavily armored opponents, you're more likely to kill someone with this than with the blade itself. Oh. All right. So, you're close into someone, and you get into a clinch. You need to control the space, get an opportunity to hit me with your cross guard. Oh. I'll show you first. All right. Remember, if I get this close to you, my goal is probably to throw you down. You need to initiate the clinch and then control the space. Good. Don't be afraid to use your offhand when you're in a clinch. Mm. It might restrict your mobility for a forward strike, but once you're this close... Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. Uh, oh. It's all right. Our, we got hit in the arm during our mission, so... Um. Now, something that might favor you a bit more than what I've been showing. Mm. Most of the things that I've learned are a bit brutish, at least in a way. I find Hema elegant, but it requires a lot of brute strength, forward aggression. But there is a trick. So, I'm going to start attacking you. And I want you to watch what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> now, you've learned how punishing it can be. When your opponent parries your attack, you open yourself up to a free counter, often the end of a fight. So, that doesn't mean that you can always defer the initiative to your opponent. In order to get around this mm, conundrum, you attack, facing as if you're going to go into one direction, and change the momentum of your strike in the middle. Mm. I think you may have even used this word before. Uh, I knew it as something else, but I've come to find that now sword masters call it a feint. Right. All Our right. Teacher use those a lot. We'll keep going. I'm only going to defend, right. and we'll keep at it until you're able to make several successful strikes on me with a feint. All right. Oh. 
Oh. Are you okay? Did you? Still getting Are you okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> sorry. It's just window. Small space. Oh. Sorry, sorry. I need to move slowly this way. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. <clears throat> Always moving? Right. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. I didn't manage to dodge that one, but it was a bit projected. Of course, I can't really criticize it because you managed to hit anyway. All right, now, one successful strike is good, but in an actual war zone, even today, warriors wear armor. Hmm. Usually different from what I have, but one strike is almost never a killing blow. Once you have a hit on your opponent, they'll be staggered and hurt. Even if you don't pierce their defenses, getting hit with a chunk of metal is painful. Chain your strikes so that I don't have an opportunity to defend. Even if your strikes miss, keep going at it. Don't right. give me an opportunity to repost. Alright. You're too far. Can't even hit me from there. Good. Again. Through your nose. If your opponent hears you breathing like that, they know that you can't defend as quickly. Alright. We're both tired. I'm old and you're not used to this yet. Hmm. I think we can take a break for now. Alright. Thank you for this. It's really informal, informational. <sighs> I wasn't expecting you to... Well... You did good. Oh, thank you, Mr. Yars. Hmm. With a blade that thin, but the, still the length of an average arming sword, that couldn't be more than one and a half kilos. I'll have to get you a longer one. Hmm. I've had a long day. I don't know where to find you. I'm sure we'll see meet again. Probably even tomorrow, but I need to go to bed. Uh, of course. Probably a good idea. Be doing lessons tomorrow. Mm. Watch. <laughs> we'll at least be around after I shifted the fork. <sighs> Should we go rest then? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we're gonna feel that for a bit. Florissa will be okay though. She's better at pain than I am. <sighs> Let's go get some rest. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. It's actually much nicer once you've been moving around a lot with the snow. <sighs> we were going to get some water. Did you want to eat before you 
I don't miss yours. Actually, are you staying here? Sometimes. Hmm. Usually. Yes. Huh. All right. Here we are. Of course. Oh, you're very good at this, Miss Yours. I used to be better. <laughs> we should find both of you something like this. Never restricts mobility, but much better than cloth. Uh, Emerson. So, so. Mm. Unfortunately, very out of fashion now, but... Mm. Might need to get ours enchanted if that's the case. Um, sizing and whatnot. Same with this blade. Uh. I have a spell for armor, but it takes a lot of mana. Oh? Oh, like that barrier you put up during the mission? Hmm. I try not to use it much if I want to conserve my mana. Hmm. We're worried about that with the uh, the healing. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. She's down. <sighs> Hi there. Oh, that was that was really fun, though. Thanks, Mr. Yars. Hmm. Hmm. I know I might not be able to use it as well, though, because it... mm. it's. It... Mm. When I first held my sword, it was really heavy. Uh. You get used to it. Pointed. Striking uh. angle is very important. Mm -hmm. You have to hold it parallel with the way that you'd swing. Otherwise, your sword is a mace. A rapier is a terrible mace. Right. Uh, it's just really heavy. Hold it. Uh. Don't use your other arm. Let go. Straighten your back. You're already holding it for much longer than you were making it look like. I'm trying you really hard. On a show, were you? No. And. <laughs> To start. You okay? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to get this. Oh. It hurts, okay, it hurts a bit, but we're we're better at it. Oh. Mm. Yeah, stretch a bit more. Ugh. <sighs> it was a good day, though. Yeah. You sure was really quiet today. Hmm? That's okay. Mm. You don't have to talk.
talk if you don't want to. What did he talk? Oh, mm. maybe he went to go rest. Mm. Hmm. Probably. Ah. <sighs> 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 Put this away. Ready to rest? Yeah, we should go do that. <sighs> Made a lot of new friends today. Mm. <laughs> I'm glad the end is getting more people right there. Yeah! Mr. Grit showed, showed up. That was nice. A lot of people from the Purple Lotus. Who was it? Oh, oh, Mr. Grid? Oh, yes. I met him at Michael Knights. Oh, yeah. Apparently Mr. Burst's new brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm just happy we won't be able to see everybody at the guild tomorrow. Yeah. Aren't it? Mm. <sighs> I fix it. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to see them later, though. Mm. I'll try to show up. That's good. <laughs> Well, it was a good day, though. Mm, it was. Mm. Yo. You too. Good night, Masari. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and seeing as I splay right into my wall. <laughs> 